Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jonathan Hilton. I want to welcome you to the Summer Music Festival Instagram Live. Thanks for joining me. I want to tell you a couple tips and tricks on how to keep you safe and healthy uh, from uh, at your Firefly or other music festival that you have coming up. Just a little bit about me. Uh, I've been an emergency medicine physician now at Christiana Care for three years. Uh, also spent some time in the military, so I've had my fair share of austere environments. I've seen some stuff that uh, can be easily preventable and hopefully um, you know, stuff I can pass on to you to help you uh, stay safe and have a little bit more fun out there and avoid any mishaps uh, when you're at your music festival. So uh, some of the things I like to talk about right away is prep, right? Uh, anytime you go anywhere, do a little uh, groundwork. You know, look on the computer, we have all this technology. Uh, see what your weather's gonna be like. Fortunately for you Firefly attendants, uh, it's gonna be beautiful this weekend. I mean, we're talking 80 degrees all three days. Humidity's only gonna be 50%. Uh, I think it's a 10% chance of rain all day or all weekend. Uh, so you should be good to go and enjoy uh, some of the beautiful weather we have to offer here in uh, Delaware. Um, but with that beautiful weather comes a whole bunch of sunshine and uh, you need to protect yourself from too much sunshine. Uh, easy things you can do, let's wear uh, a hat, uh, some sunglasses, uh, you know, I take a big uh, straw hat here, helps uh, protect all sides of your face, the top of your ears, a lot of people miss, bridge your nose. Um, and then obviously sunglasses, not only do you look great, but it helps protect your eyes, save your eyes for later on as you grow older. Uh, I use uh, sunscreen. Um, I'm, I'm a pasty white guy, so uh, I do 50 plus SPF and I lather on pretty darn thick. Uh, reapply often because you're going to be out there partying and having a good time and sweating. Uh, so, you know, every couple hours try to reapply and make sure you get some good coverage. Um, other things, uh, you know, I always uh, talk about is dress in layers. Uh, sure, it's going to be hot in the uh, daytime, but in the night, even a couple of temperature uh, degree drop can make you get pretty darn cold. Uh, so obviously you see me wearing a jacket right here. Uh, something you can easily take off and throw to the side if you get too hot, but I'll put back on um, when you uh, get a little chilly uh, at nighttime. Also make sure you bring the appropriate stuff with you. You know, if you check the, the nighttime temperature is gonna be 60 degrees, that's a whole lot colder than 85 degrees. Uh, make sure you have a sleeping bag, a tent, blankets. Um, and then while you're at the tent, you know, you wanna, always wanna have a light source. You know, I bring a little camp lantern right here. Uh, a lot of places uh, I think will say no to fires, and I agree with that. Uh, that can be a little bit of a hazard you don't need to worry about. Um, some other things that uh, a lot of people overlook uh, is hearing protection. Uh, you're going to be right next to these giant speakers with a lot of great music, and while you're having a good time, you kind of forget about the consequences downstream of listening to really loud music at a real close range. So you can buy a couple of disposable earplugs, throw them in, and uh, protect your hearing. No one's the wiser, and uh, you'll feel a lot better about it down the road. Uh, the other big thing at a music festival, uh, especially if you're camping out for two or three days, if you're going to enjoy all the music that they have to offer there at Firefly uh, and other music festivals, uh, is you know try, how do you stay clean? How do you stay you know looking fresh uh, while you're listening to great music? Uh, one of the things I recommend is baby wipes. Uh, you can get them either in the big packs, you know, go to your local uh, bulk uh, market like a Costco or BJ's, or you can get these little guys single serving size wet ones. Uh, and I pretty much just use them to wipe down all the really sweaty areas, you know, your armpits, as I call it a field shower. Um, and, you know, just makes you a little more comfortable so you can just enjoy your day that much more. Uh, the other big thing is uh, using hand sanitizer to keep some hand hygiene, uh, you know, a lot of people pay a lot of good money to come to these festivals, plan for a long time. If they get a little under the weather, they're still going to go. They're still going to interact with you. So protect yourself. Just wash your hands a little bit with some hand sanitizer. Um, uh, also, you know, it, right now it's, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful uh, weather for the weekend. Uh, if it does rain, it could turn into a very muddy environment very quickly. Uh, I recommend you bring at least one change of clothes. My big thing is dry socks. You know, you wouldn't believe how more how much more comfortable you would feel after putting a fresh pair of socks if you have some sopping wet feet. Uh, some other things we talk about is uh, security. How are you going to keep your valuables safe? You know, you're going to come there with a tent, uh, all this great stuff, a sleeping bag, and uh, you know, a lantern. Uh, what you can do, uh, a real easy fix uh, to keep your valuables secure, is just bring a, a luggage lock. One of these little things, it's cheap, it's easy, it's quick, and you can carry it with you, it doesn't take a lot of space. And you can lock your tent zipper up uh, and just kind of eliminates any crimes of opportunity uh, of any, you know, maybe less than uh, uh, stellar individuals that are roaming around the uh, festival. 
Uh, other, other parts of security is if you're going to carry uh, valuables, I would keep them on your person. So that's money, credit cards, ID, any medications you might have. Uh, you want to keep them close to you. Fanny packs are big right now. If you're going to wear them, wear them on the front where you can see it and it's going to make it tough for anybody to come in and, and grab their hands into your fanny pack. So um, the other thing is uh, if you don't have a fanny pack, go ahead and use it. Yeah, wallet, cell phone, money, put it in your front pockets. Uh, you're too much of a target if you put it in your back pockets. People can bump into you when you're dancing and just kind of swipe your, your monies or your, your phone there. Uh, and lastly, there are some uh, more uh, secure items that kind of go under your undergarments. If you're you know, really worried about it, you can use some of those uh, and that might help you keep your stuff safe. Uh, some other notes I had written down here, uh, big time, uh, I guess uh, priority for me is just safety in general. Uh, if you can go with friends, I highly recommend it. There is safety in numbers, that's a true statement. Uh, if you don't go with any friends, you're there by yourself, make some friends with people that are camping around you just so they have someone looking out for you. Uh, heaven forbid something happens. Um, the other part of it is, you know, know where your medic tent is, know where your water tent is, know where your food tent is. Do that early so that when you're at the event, if something happens to you, you're not scrambling to find, you know, where that stuff is. Another good point is to, you know, maybe know where the local hospitals are or medical aid units, the urgent cares, just so you know that if something happens, where they're going to take you and you can tell your family members where you might be. Um, it's summertime, it's a festival, and it's party time, and while if, you know, I fully you know, support you having a good time. Uh, as long as you're of age, go ahead and, and you, know, you can partake in some alcohol, but do so responsibly. Uh, you know, we have uh, entirely too many times where uh, people overindulge and they get themselves in a little bit of trouble. Uh, when drinking alcohol, it's a diuretic. Um, you, know, you can get dehydrated very easily. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when I go to music festivals, the first thing I do is wake up in the morning, have a giant pot of coffee. I keep it in my thermos here. Uh, and I'll probably go through one of these, you know, before lunchtime. Uh, coffee, while great, is also a diuretic. When you couple that with alcohol, you're going to be, you know, peeing out a lot of fluid and not replacing it very well. So I recommend if you're going to drink alcohol, go ahead and alternate with a water or a Gatorade here and there and just try to do so responsibly. Hopefully, you know, if you go with friends, they're going to help you pump the brakes on getting a little out of hand. While it's okay to have fun, I think you just need to do so responsibly. That being said, if you are drinking, make sure you watch your drinks. You know, you know, individuals out there uh, don't always have the best of intentions, and uh, we don't want you to get something slipped into your drink and put you in a bad situation. Uh, also, after that, let me just grab my notes here. <clears throat> uh, I, I do have to mention, I mean, as a physician, I want to just say you should not do drugs. If you do uh, do partake in recreational drugs, try to do so safely. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have no idea what goes into these drugs that you get off the street. We've seen all too many times in the emergency department, uh, someone thinks they're just smoking a little bit of marijuana, a little bit of weed, and it turns out it's laced with PCP uh, or some other uh, drug that they weren't planning on taking and gets them uh, into a spot of trouble. If you do partake in recreational drugs, please, please, please be honest with your provider. If you get into trouble and you go to a medical tent and they're asking you, they're not trying to incriminate you. They're just looking out for your best uh, uh, intentions, your best health. Uh, so please be honest with them uh, if you end up in a medical tent and they ask you if you took anything. And don't do drugs. Um, <clears throat> Another part of uh, some of the stuff that we, we talked about as far as safety, um, you're in a big group, uh, we're trying to look out for each other's safety. So uh, if you see anything suspicious, please report it. Uh, if you see something, say something, it's a line that's easily remembered and I think it, it has a lot of truisms to it. Um, if you see someone that's not acting right or a package that doesn't look right, just tell somebody it's better to have it checked out and be nothing rather than not say anything and have it be something terrible. So uh, make sure that if you see something, say something. Also in large groups, if something does happen and it gets that pack mentality and people start running to somewhere and you need to get out of that mob and you don't want to get uh, trampled, um, try to make your way towards the uh, edges of the, of the group. And then if it's flowing one direction, go with the flow, but in a diagonal direction. All too many people, uh, if they want to get out of it, they go 90 degrees, and that's when you get knocked over, and that's when trouble happens. So if you see the mob kind of moving in one direction, kind of just go with it and work your way diagonal to an exit. And that's why it's important, like I said earlier, to find out where the medical aid units are, the tents, uh, the food, the water, and any exits, just so you can keep yourself safe and help others around you. Um, as far as the medical tents, <coughs> also, uh, if you take medications every day, please don't decide to skip them for your weekend uh, down in, in the music festival. 
Uh, it's very important that you continue your medications as uh, you would normally take them. Uh, that's why I said, you know, bring a fanny pack, have some sort of, if, it, if they need to be refrigerated, at least have a cooler or something along with you uh, that you can do that, particularly medicines like insulin. If you're a diabetic, that type of stuff, you can get very, uh, in a, very sick very quickly if you skip a medication, just even for a day or two. Um, uh, if you have a medical alert bracelet, make sure you wear that. Uh, it's going to help any provider that helps you if you get into trouble. Um, and one of my last things I wanted to mention, you know, Summer Music Festival, it's a great time. A lot of great people. Uh, and if you, you know, you're going to meet some new people. And if you happen to make a love connection, that's wonderful. Uh, I'm excited about it. But uh, make sure uh, if you do uh, make a love connection, practice safe sex uh, just so you can keep yourself safe and uh, just have an enjoyable experience that you're not worrying about several months down the road after something happens. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming out for our Summer Music Festival Instagram Live. If you have any questions, I'm happy to take them. And uh, I really appreciate you tuning in.